If you'd like to customize the look of your character and his gear in the end game, you're gonna need to deal with the die trader. Now the beauty of the die trader is that you can turn in strange plants and in exchange for each particular strange plant, he'll give you a random exotic die. What dies you get are particularly random. It depends also on how far into the game you are, what bosses you've defeated, that sort of thing. But they are exotic dies. They cannot otherwise be crafted or purchased. This is the only way to get them. You can find exotic dyes by way of strange plants found in the wild, but what I like to do most, and what I think a lot of people like to do most, is to create a causeway in the sky, just to make them a little easier to, to find, because this way they pop out from the background. The strange plants come in different colors and different designs. If you get used to them, you you can get pretty good at spotting them, but really there's no substitute for this kind of a, a sky bridge or sky causeway. They can spawn on dirt, they can spawn on moss-covered stone, and they can spawn on any type of grass other than, I want to say, mushroom grass. So you don't need to use dirt, but odds are you've got a lot of it, and if you don't mind the look, dirt is just as good as anything for spawning them. You can also, of course, just go through the wild and find them. They have uh, orange text, so there's no mistaking it when you've harvested one. There is a spawn limit. They generally don't spawn within, I think, around 480 feet of one another. Here you see my character harvesting some of them. As I mentioned earlier, they do come in different designs and colors. As far as I know, it's kind of random. I don't think any particular design results in any particular reward from the die trader. But getting back to the sky bridge, you'll see my character going through and making a quick harvest run. You can do what I'm doing if you have a UFO mount and just fly along the bottom. Or, you know, earlier on, I was just walking along the top. Again, there's no necessary step. This is just a crude approximation of what you can do. But as I mentioned earlier, these strange plants do stand out a lot when they're on this causeway, and that's the beauty of this little trick. It also is a useful thing to have earlier on, especially just to get from one part of the map to the other without being harassed too much by opponents. So that's my way of getting strange plants. Again, if you've got an eagle eye, you can just go through the regular map and harvest them. I prefer a sky causeway. Once you do have a stash, you can go back to the die trader, click on the strange plants prompt, and for each one you turn in, you'll get a random die. Now feel free to experiment. These are neat little dies. You're not going to get rich by selling them. You learn a few silver at best, but their real value comes in the customization that they can give your character later in the game. It's a nice little addition that just adds to the longevity of the game, in my opinion. It gives you the look you really want, especially since there are only so many sets of viable armor and whatnot. So, again, just a little bonus there at the end of the game. If you're earlier on in the game, you might not be bothered. It's up to you. At any rate, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Like it if you found it helpful, and by all means subscribe if you'd like to see more videos.